Hey y'all, so today we're going to start working on replacing one of the tanks of the sugar house. Um, the tank that feeds the evaporator. Uh, we're going to replace that with this tank behind me, which is a stainless open top tank. Um, the one that's down there right now is a poly, um, poly fully enclosed tank. Um, so we're going to pull that down. We've got to retrofit some stuff on the platform that it's on so that this one fits. Um, we'll get this one up here. Um, probably we won't get it all the way up today, but we'll get it started today. Um, we're going to have to build a roof over this one too. Um, really the reason we're switching it out is that this one's easier to clean. It's metal, it's open, um, everything's smooth inside, it's so it's really easy to like get in there and wash out. Um, it fully drains, it drains out the bottom. I don't know if you can see down here, but the drain is actually in the bottom. We're looking at the bottom of the tank right now. Um, as opposed to the one that I have down there right now, it drains out the side, so there's always a little bit of sap left in it. Um, so we're gonna start working on that today. Um, gotta get the tractor and go get go pull the other tank down. Um, but the first step after we get that tank down is to um, build sort of build a new top to the platform that it's on because that tank's raised, so it feeds the evaporator. Um, so we need to measure the size of this tank. Uh, I've got a tape measure here, so we'll measure the size of this tank so we can go down there and figure out what size we're going to need to make that platform. So this tank, the base of this tank is, let's see, just over four foot two inches, about four foot two and a quarter inches by... So we have four foot by four foot two and a quarter. Um, so we'll uh, go down and pull that other tank out and size up the new platform for down there and uh, get building that. So this is the tank we're going to be replacing today. Um, this is a 250 gallon poly tank. Um, we're going to pull off and put the 200 gallon stainless tank up. Um, so I just measured the platform. So this is the platform that it's sitting on. Um, and the platform's long enough this direction, um, but it's about six inches too short this direction. Um, so we'll just need to extend it a little bit. We'll probably pull the platform away from the building a little bit. And then, um, so we have equal distance on both sides that we're extending it. Um, but for now, we got to get this pipe disconnected um, from the tank so that we can lift it off with the tractor. Um, I'll pull all the other pipes down. Um, we'll lift it off. We'll get that free and then we can move this platform out away from the building a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, that should work. Just to give you a little more context, um, we're in the sugar house here. Everything's sort of in a state of being, of halfway being cleaned. Um, but to just give you a little more context, the tank is behind this wall here, um, comes in right here at this elbow, um, and this is what feeds the evaporator. This pan here um, goes up here, and it gets fed in right about here um, to the tank. Um, so that's just where we're talking about when, I, when I'm saying that this is the tank that feeds the evaporator. Um, it's coming in the building right there.
So I got that tank brought uh, off the platform and brought up to the house. Um, so now we gotta pull it. We're gonna we gotta have to pull this platform away a little bit so that the new tank will fit on it. And um, we're gonna need to raise it up a little bit because this pipe here, this pipe is, needs needs to be about here. So I have some some blocking in the wheelbarrow that we'll use to do that um, and relevel it a little bit away from the building because this is the distance that's too short. So we're, this is the distance we're gonna make wider with these two by sixes here. Um, these are four foot two by sixes. Um, we're gonna pull it away a little bit and notch this out so that the drain for the um, tank can go into this pipe and has a spot to come out because that drain if you remember, um, comes out the bottom of the tank, so it's going to come out from in here, and we're going to need to notch out a little bit of this um, to let that drain out. Uh, so let's pull this away and get it level. Well, the camera didn't really work for half of that, but um, I got so I got the. Um, platform leveled and raised up quite a bit um, to that height where the pipe's a lot lower on it here now. Um, and this will be raised up another two inches, so that should be good. Um, and it's not secured to the building yet. I'll secure, the build, secure it to the building before I put the top on so that, because right now it's pretty wobbly. Um, and this is sort of temporary blocking, hopefully at some point we'll be able to put this up on cement blocks, but we don't have any cement blocks right now, so in the interest of getting this done, um, I'm just using some temporary wood blocking. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, but I'll screw it to the building and then it won't be. Um, so I'll do that and then we'll get the top on here. So here you can see I got the notch cut for the drain. Um, so the valve and elbow coming out of the bottom of the tank will sit right in here and um, connect to this pipe. I have to make that a little longer actually. Um, so I just gotta go now and screw the rest of the deck plates on here. I just gotta, these aren't screwed on yet, but I gotta screw these on. And then these ones go across behind the notch. Um, and yeah, so that'll complete the deck and then we gotta go build a roof. So here behind me, this is the finished platform. Um, we've just increased each side by about two and a half inches. Um, so the whole width overall is now four feet. Um, and it's four foot three inches long. Um, so I'm just gonna head up to the house now, start working on a roof, because um, this tank is open top. We need to uh, put a roof over it and the roof will attached to the building. So that's what I'm gonna head up and do. Um, and hopefully we'll get everything set up today. I'd like to get the tank and roof and stuff down here today, but uh, we'll see right now. I just gotta go build that roof.
very stable. I'll go to the back here. Why? I'm good. Why? Well, it's just going to be muddy, but I can go through the woods. No, you're good. Can make you like an inch longer. Just so if I have a fist, it can fall off there. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah. I would put a hole all the way around. All right, so you're good to uh, go. Not far. I should be able to get it back up. Yeah. All right, and this is screwed to the building. Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna change once it goes up here. I know it looks bad, but I couldn't get a screw all the way through it. Okay. Fine. Um, we can get the long thread of the rod. It'll go through up the top here. Oh, yeah. With a large right around with a bolt on each side. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's see what's the top. It's a little bit taller now. <laughs> it is, yeah. Like that. Yeah, screw it on out. Okay. I'm going to slide it back in there. All right, Mikhail, you did it. We got it all up there. Let's show our viewers what we did and what you did. Yeah, so you saw the video at the beginning um, with the other tank up here. So to sort of sum it all up, uh, we raised the platform up a little bit, about six or eight inches so that the pipe, this pipe that feeds the evaporator would be at the right height for the valve for the new tank. Um, then we made the platform a little bit wider because this tank is wider than the old one. Um, we got a notch cut out here for the valve to drain out the bottom of the tank. We built the roof for the top of the tank, um, and that rests on the top of the tank. There's doors on both sides to access, and there's a ladder on the other side. Um, so now, really, I just got to get the roof screwed on and get some latches for my doors. Um, we're just going to screw the roof to the building so that's secure um, and finish plumbing everything up. Um, yeah, but I, I think that came out really well. I'm really pleased with that. Definitely a uh, step up in our maple sugaring production, um, much easier to clean than what poly tank we had. So when we're trying to clean that in the middle of the winter, it'll be easier to clean this one out. I work as a hand in San Saba, fences and windmills to man. I've been out on a crew Eating tumbleweed stew Three weeks in the rain and the wind 